to this too cold. Okay. Hi, hello. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. For those who you don't know me, my name is Pamela. And like I promised, today I will be doing a story time. Mm -hmm. So it all started when I visited my sister who stays in Jobek. And my cousin from Pretoria wanted me to come and visit her. And I was excited about it. So, because I didn't know the place very well, I asked my sister to take me there. She took me there, but before we went there, we took we had to take a train there. So, um, we went to the station, we waited for the train to come, and when the train came, ah, it was a, it, it was time for us to get into the into the train. So my shoe fell. It fell in the railway. Sporo guys if you don't know what i'm talking about a railway so ah, i tried to take my shoe i tried to get my shoe with my own hands out of that sporo so those people in the station and the train was like hey what the hell are you trying to do are you trying to kill yourself in front of us stop whatever you're doing they were like going crazy at me they were shouting at me yeah it was crazy guys and a guy came and because we had an we had an umbrella with us he took the umbrella and he tried to get the shoe for us um but i don't really i don't really remember if we got the shoe or not so we went to my cousin when we got there we told her the story my cousin was like what were you thinking what were you trying to do those things are very are very dangerous and whatever what can i say i just didn't know so my sister left, she went back to Jobek and I stayed, I stayed in Pretoria for about a, a, about a month and I really enjoyed my stay there. So when it was time for me to go back to my sister, my cousin was going to work. So she told me that I'm going to have to take a train. And guys, I don't know, but I just don't like trains. I don't know how they operate. So, and I was scared to tell my, my cousin that I am afraid of trains because I thought she might judge me. I don't know why. So, she went with me to the station. We bought a ticket. After buying a ticket, I got, I got into the train. And after that, I remembered that I completely forgot which station I'm scared of on when I arrived. So, yeah, ne? I asked people in the station, Kababuchi, Shakari, Erkinore, Aksapla station, Sela. So, let me just say, Kalfontein station. I asked them, what a little about Kalfon station, and nah, do you know where Kalfon station is? And there was, they were, they was like, yeah, we do know where that is, and we will show you. But ugh, the way they looked at me and I just saw, I, I just felt like they didn't care. They were not interested in my story. So I sat down in the train and it, I, I sat down in the train and there was a man who was sitting next to me. So I don't know, maybe he thought that I'm scared or something. He just saw through right through me and, and he told me that he knows where I am going and he will take me there and i looked at him and i was like Ooh, this man he was a man guys he was a man mm. we went there i sat there and as i looked at him and i judged him by the way he looks so i was like uh-uh i don't trust i don't trust this guy and the way he's looking at me so i was like okay fine the train stopped at a certain station and I was I wanted to get out. And those people whom I asked or Lord Galfontaine is station Kikai Bari No I I I I'll follow him all that that is not the place where you should get off. So that man was like, Don't worry, I'm going to take you there. Yeah. I sat down thinking, wondering, okay, it's fine. We arrived at Calfontaine Station. The man, Ajia Begiagamot, 
Victor Bekejepeji. So he took my bag and the one that he was carrying, Ibeina Leduko Bokagar, it had clothes in it. And the one that I was carrying had money in it. So, okay, it's fine. He was walking fast. And I was like, mm -mm, ah, I'm not going to walk beside, beside this guy. I'm going to walk behind him. So, this girl doesn't trust me. And he was like, no, you must hurry up. We must get to the taxi rank before the taxi leaves. So, I went with him. It was a narrow road, guys. A narrow street or a narrow road. There were homeless people sleeping there. They looked all, dang all dangerous. And... Oh, it was so dark and I, I was just so scared. If I wasn't with that man, I, I think anything could have happened to me. So I, I, I walked fast. I walked fast and there was too much of smoke there. And then we got out of that narrow road and the vendors, there were vendors selling their stuff there. And I saw a taxi rank and I was like, oh, damn, I am so happy. Now he ain't gonna do nothing to me, so I started working faster so that I can get my bag from him. Mm, as I did that, sorry, that man took me to the taxi and he told the taxi driver that, he said to the taxi driver that, would you please take this young lady to this kind of a place, to this place, and... Ah. I thanked him and he left. Now I really know that I shouldn't have judged that guy. I was so scared of the guy. So yeah guys, moral moral of the story, sometimes just don't judge people without knowing what they are capable of. Okay? Sometimes it's vice versa. So I don't know what to say. I guess it's luck. So if so guys, if you find this story interesting make sure that you like you comment make sure that you comment i want to hear your intake on this story and then you subscribe and please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that every time i post a video you'll be able to see it from me to you guys until next time with another story bye guys